it is gone in all these abandoned yeah. houses around here. This Central City resident says she doesn't feel safe stepping out of her home. Homeless people running in and out. I be scared. I don't go nowhere at night because <laughs> you don't know what's going to jump out the alley. She says the back of her house caught fire last winter because a squatter set a fire in the abandoned home next door. My neighbor almost got burnt. They had to get him out. They had to come through my house, knock everything down to get to him. Then two days ago, the other house got a fire. Even though this house next door to her burned down last year, you can still see signs that people have been making a home here. There's empty food containers and trash thrown everywhere. Fires in abandoned buildings or vacant structures, vacant blighted structures, is always a challenge for us. Uh, probably about 25% of our fires actually occur in those type of buildings. Uh, we really encourage property owners to do the right thing. Be responsible, secure your building. Many neighbors along MLK have posted no trespassing signs to keep people off their property. The sign is to protect this property and my loved ones that's inside this property. But they say it still doesn't help. I'm tired of calling everybody about this. They come put a notice up and that's it. They don't really care. The government has a very onerous burden before we can actually act upon a private citizen's property. The city's code enforcement director says it can take up to two years to go through the legal process with the property owner to have abandoned homes knocked down. At that point, it becomes a financial consideration that there is a lot more out there than the city has resources to take care of.